going on boys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be teaching you how to be a really good mortis player i'm not going to be going over some of the normal stuff that other creators do like how to hit supers and that kind of stuff because i feel like a lot of people already have done that and it's kind of like common knowledge and i think most of you guys know how to already use your super and stuff like that so i'm going to be showing other tips that i think will help you guys a lot so anyway just getting straight into it so getting into the best build with mortis um i, I honestly like uh, creepy harvest i think everyone uses it obviously i don't think anyone really uses the quicker dash anymore i don't even know what it's called coiled snake or whatever people don't really use that one creepy harvest is the one you want to go with as far as star powers go for the gadget it really is personal preference for me i use combo spinner because i feel like it's a little more reliable just just me a lot of people actually use the other one so yeah just like personal preference on that and then as far as gears go i think shield and damage usually are good for mortis so yeah the first tip is kind of dumb, but at the same time, it also is very important. It's to play really passive with Mortis. You can't really dive in on a lot of stuff. You have to play passive and make sure you use your dashes and super correctly. Like you can't just dive in and, you know, go in all the time. Like you have to play it passive. You have to. And, and if you do, you'll have a higher chance of winning a lot of times. And I think Mortis is really underrated. Like you can like even on knockout game modes like that, I play him on knockout almost solely pretty much because I think he's really good there and a lot of people don't play him there. So yeah. So the second tip when playing Mortis is you don't want to hold on to your super too long. I see a lot of people saying that you want to save your super for the right time. And that's just not the case. You want to get it out almost as quick as possible. Like you don't want to use it and waste it, obviously. But the quicker you get it out, the quicker you can charge another one. So I feel like that's a kind of a bad take when people say, you know, you got to save it for the right time. Like, no, not really. You want to use it, see if you can get two hits and then charge your super back up quicker. If you only get one, that kind of sucks. But even still, it's better than it's better to use it and then, you know, start over than waits forever. And then that kind of slows you down a lot, I feel like. So use it, get it out as quick as possible and just keep cycling supers if you can. The biggest mistake when playing Mortis is, is that people always play Brawl Ball and I feel like it's so predictable. Like most of the time when people play Brawl Ball with other brawlers, they always play brawlers that counter Mortis because they know there's like a 50% chance they're going to play a Mortis. The way I like to do it is, and this may be a little bit controversial, it probably is. I like to play Mortis in Knockout and here's why. No one expects it. Literally no one expects it. And then, yeah, you're going to die a lot, but you're also going to run into throwers and be e it's going to be easy kills and leave your team in like either a 2v1 or a 3v2 situation 90% of the time. It's so like when you run into a thrower, it's literally a free win most of the time. Like as long as your teammates don't suck, you usually win. So like playing Mortis in knockout maps, now certain maps, you can't play them in every single map, right? Because certain maps don't have a lot of throwers on them. But if you get a map where there's a lot of throwers and there's some cover at least, like he's not bad. Like, I will say he's not bad, especially if you have that uh, gadget where he recharges his attacks faster. I mean, he can definitely be used on that those kind of maps. Now, when you get into higher lobbies, like when you get above like... See, I use them about, I can use them up to 800 there. After like 800, 850, you can't really use them in knockout anymore. But when you're lower, like that's a really good strat that I don't see a lot of people doing. So yeah. I think another big mistake when people are playing Mortis is they dash too many times before actually landing an attack. And I think some of you will know what I mean and some of you won't. So I'll try to explain a little bit better. So let's say you're playing Mortis and you have to dash two times before you even hit the person. You're never going to win like that. I mean, unless you charge super on that last one and then use your super, you have to know your super count. You know what I mean? Like if you don't have super, you almost have to hit them on the first dash. If you are close to getting super, then you can dash a couple times, then hit them, then super, right? But you have to know your super charge with that. But you typically, you don't want to dash more than once before you hit them, right? If you can dash one time, then hit them on the second dash, that's not horrible. But, you know, dashing on the first and hitting them usually will result in a kill. I'd love to know the numbers on that because I'm sure the numbers are really good. Like if you hit like dash the first time and hit them, the kill ratio is going to be way up. After that, it drops off tremendously, I'm sure. So you want to make sure you can hit them on the first dash or you have your super close to being charged so you can use that. So, yeah. So the last tip is going to be a little bit more traditional, less outside of the box like the other ones were. Um, it's going to be to know like your damage, like you have to know your damage and especially your super damage. I think it's the same actually, but you have to really know your damage with Mortis and know the HP of all the brawlers and which brawlers are good. You have to know your counters really like you have to know all that stuff when playing them because you can't run into a shell. You can't run into brawlers like that who are going to counter you. You have to at least know your counters and know the meta so you know who not to go into like 
I feel like that's pretty common knowledge and that's not really a great tip, but like if you don't, obviously it's going to go wrong, but I feel like a lot of the tips I've provided in this video are going to help you guys a lot. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this or this helped at all, drop a like and uh, let me know how knockout goes with Mortis. Anyway, peace out. Anyways.